Hi, I'm Edie. And I'm Judy. And together, together we're, we're the Rainbow, Rainbow Grannies. Grannies. Yay! Thank you so much for joining us again. So I have a question for you. Have you ever dressed in drag before today? Yes. I'm not a, a professional drag king, but I love drag kings. And I love watching their art and their craft. So today, we decided that we'd do a little talk about that and maybe get some information and we could learn from you something about being drag kings and, and cross-dressing or whatever you might want to call it. Yeah, we've done a little bit. I mean, I've got the bow tie on and the hat and the, and the top. Um, I've done a little bit with, with makeup on my face, but I haven't done the facial hairs on my face. And we've seen that dry kings will use their real hair, and we're still trying to learn what kind of glue they use, because we've heard when you glue hair onto your face, it can be really itchy. So we want to know what are tips for how you do facial hair. Yeah, like um, what type of glue do you use? Um, also, we do a um, live presentation in the morning currently right now on TikTok and that's at 8 o'clock in the morning um, on Saturday and Sunday and this morning uh, we noticed that a lot of ladies that have been coming to the different chats have interest in being drag kings so they had brought up several weeks different things about drag shows that they do and stuff so we decided that we'd try to learn a little bit more about it so we're real curious uh, anybody that's out there that's experienced with any kind of drag king stuff uh, and the type of bindings that they suggest. One lady this morning, she talked about how her and her partner use duct tape and how hard duct tape Ouch. can be. And we can't, I can't imagine because you wrap your hand in duct tape, but that's what she used. And, that, and then there's other people talk about different kinds of binders that they use, you know, in order. And so we're just curious in, uh, to know how you do it and what you do because we've never gone that extreme with with dressing and drag our extreme involves you know a tie and a shirt and, and, and really yeah because i'm not a drag king i just do like to to dress a little more on the butch side sometimes and so i'll do a tie or i'll do a bow tie and and right but with drag we do realize that it's not just the clothing you put on there's a whole persona that involves like the, the attitude and the swagger that you get when you put on these clothes you know, and I, we've been fortunate enough to go watch a few Drag King shows and to watch the, um, the kings and how they perform and how they carry themselves. And so there's so many other little things, you know, I know that um, packing is something that, you know, they've talked to us about. And so we're real curious to see what it is that, you know, people prefer and how it makes you feel, what you get out of it. Right, because even for me, just when I dress in drag, I start feeling it. I start feeling a little bit more butch. I start feeling a little bit more, um, actually, physical strength. I start feeling safer, which is interesting. When I go out, you'd think me dressed in drag going out should make me feel more unsafe, but it actually makes me feel safer. Well, I feel, um, we went to a wedding in January, and I... I would say I was pretty much dressed in drag, except for it was a woman's tuxedo jacket. It had uh, beaded lapels, but um, I felt extremely handsome. Extremely handsome is, I mean, over the top. I felt like I carried myself really, you know, well, and uh, I wore a bow tie to your daughter's wedding, remember? Yeah. And one of uh, her mother's comments when she saw me, uh, which was so sweet, is she looked at me and she said, you look so handsome. And it was like, oh, thank you, you know, because I had never really thought about it as handsome. But it was nice, you know. Yeah, and there was, um, you've done a couple of TikTok videos where you dress in drag, and you're completely in character. And that's what we're saying with dressing in drag. It puts us in another character. It makes right. us another persona. Yeah, doing TikTok allows us to, you know, do a little more of the put on something in drag. Real. I got a woman way over town that's good to me. Oh, yeah. Say, I got a woman. We're curious about drag kings. 
because, I mean, for one, I, I think they're very attractive. But there's also drag queens, and we're all more aware of them. Right. You know, more people are aware because I've mentioned drag kings to several people, and they have no idea what I'm talking about. They've never even heard of it, never seen it, or anything like that. So um, it's just nice for us to get a chance to share that with you. So also, while I'm sharing, make sure you push the button. What the button? red button. Oh the red goodness. button. Yes, the red button. And subscribe to us. And the bell. And ring the bell so that you can follow us. So that every time we post a video, you can uh, be there to be the first one to view it. Okay. There's a couple things we'd like to wrap this up and let us know. A few questions we have that we'd like for you drag kings to tell us about. Right. We want to know, where do you get your clothes from? How do you fit your clothes? And how do you choose what persona you want when you put, when you, you put these clothes on? And do you do performances? Have a network of kings who do drag on stage with you? Do you have a network of kings to be friends with? Because... We're, we're wondering about any budding drag king watching this show that they want to know. They want to know where to go. They want to meet you. They want to know how to get involved in this also. So we want to know a lot of things. We really want to learn about the drag king world. So when we had mentioned earlier in our video things like, you know, what kind of binders, what kind of packing, what kind of makeup, what kind of hair, what kind of glue, we also want to know, where do you go to get all this stuff? Where do you do? What? How does this happen? So fill us in. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Bye-bye.